Hello and welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Thunk of Labs. Today I had Boha for breakfast and they say that's quick, but I doubt as quick as these apps are to make. So let's dive right into the design of this app we're going to be doing, which is a flashcard app. So if you were in school or if you are in school, you probably know how handy flashcards are. And I have been bailed out of many a difficult exam by last minute flashcards. So we're going to make an app where users can uh, save their terms and definitions, which get saved for future use. And then they can use a flashcard, which is a singular um, label or button that displays it. And when clicked, it displays the definition. So I'm going to take you through the design. If you've seen my previous video, um, you know that I'm a big fan. I'm a sucker for this kind of design. It's simplistic, but it looks good. The font I've used here is April Fat Face throughout this, uh, in on the buttons as well, actually. And I've used gray for this heading label. And I have two inputs here, nothing much, with the hints term and definition, respectively. You can guess what they're for. I have a submit button, and uh, I have a flashcard button, which takes us to the next screen, or the flashcard screen, where the actual heavy work is done. Uh, looking at that flashcard screen, we can see it's uh, pretty simple, actually. You have a heading with the same April fat face font, and you have a giant button. with a, uh, It's actually molded to be a square shape with rounded corners. Its font size is 22 and white, no April fat face here. And uh, underneath that, you have two buttons that uh, are actually to navigate between flashcards. For example, if you want the next flashcard, the previous flashcard, etc. So what I actually did for this was uh, take a button, uh, set its text to the arrow emoji left and right, respectively. And then I set the button's background to clear. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. Uh, so I have a button right here, and I'm going to make that a square, but this size, this size should be good. And I'm going to set its text to the arrow emoji. I have it right here in my history. And as you can see, it's really small. So we're going to increase the font size to 50. And that looks much better, but it still looks really out of place. So we're going to scroll right down to the button style and make its background clear. And now you can see this matches this perfectly and it does not look out of place. And I'm going to delete that. So that's the same thing I did for both the previous and next uh, buttons and lastly you can see we have a back button over here which is just to take you back to the flashcard screen so you can add more terms so um, let's get replicating this design and when you're done move on to the next video where i show you how the code works bye bye